Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video we will understand how to send notification on Google Chat from JotForm submission. So here let's say that by using JotForm I have created an employee work report form. Here my objective is that whenever an employee is going to submit that form then I want to send a notification on Google Chat. So here to do this I need to set up a connection between these two applications for which I am going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this my trigger application will be JotForm and my action application will be Google Chat. So if you want to learn more about this follow me through the screen. In this video we will understand how to send Google Chat notification on JotForm submission. So here let's say that by using JotForm I have created an employee work report form. So here my objective is that whenever an employee is going to submit this form then I want to send a notification on Google Chat. So now in order to automate this entire process I am going to use Pabli Connect and this here is the landing page. So in order to reach here you just have to type in pabli.com slash connect in your browser. Here you can see I have got two options one is of sign in and the other one is of sign up for free. So if you are an existing user you can simply sign in but if you are a new user you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user I am going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing I need to give my workflow a name. So here I have named it as send google chat notification on JotForm submission. On my left hand side you can see that these are the folders which I have created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as JotForm to google chat automation and now I am going to click on create. So as I did that now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to send Google Chat notification on JotForm submission. So now to begin with this automation I will go to my trigger window and over here I am going to search for JotForm as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new response. So this trigger will start working whenever I am going to receive a new response through JotForm. Now moving to my action window as I want to send a notification on Google Chat. So over here Google Chat will be my action application. Here it is. And the action event will be to create a new message. So over here as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So as my objective is to send a Google Chat notification on JotForm submission. So to begin with this automation firstly I need to set up a connection between JotForm and Pabli Connect. So here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help disk is given. So read this help disk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your JotForm with Pabli Connect. So now I am going to take you to my JotForm account. So here in JotForm you can see that these are the forms which I have created before. So I am going to use this form that is by the name of employee work report form. So I am just going to click on edit form. So this here is the form that I have created and over here I am going to connect this form with Pabli Connect. So in order to do that I will go to settings and here in settings I will go to integrations. So in integrations I am going to search for webhooks here it is. And over here in this add webhook field I need to add the webhook. So from Pabli Connect I am going to copy the webhook URL and over here I am going to paste it. Once that is done now I am going to click on complete integration. And here it says integration ready. You have successfully created your integration that means this JOT form and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now I am going to publish this form and I am going to open this form in a new tab. So this here is the form and here in Pabli Connect as well you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. In order to do that I am going to do a form submission. So this here is the form and I am going to fill the details. Here let's say that the first name is dummy, the last name is employee, here the department will be of HR. Moving to the email part so that will be dummy employee. 
एट द रेट पैबलीट्यूड्स डॉट कॉम सो आफ्टर मैंशनिंग द ई मेल ओवर हेयर आई नीड टू प्रोवाइड अ ब्रीफ समरी ऑफ द वर्क एक्टिविटीज दैट हैज बिन डन टूडे so over here this is the brief summary so now moving ahead please provide a brief summary of your work activities planned for tomorrow so over here i'm going to write i will be creating two videos and one short video so over here i have filled in the details in this form and now i'm going to submit it so here it says thank you your submission has been received that means a submission has been made and the response of this form submission would have been captured in pably connect so taking you to pably connect yes over here you can see that i have received the response here you can see the webook url here you can see the submission id over here you can see the details which were submitted you can see the email address over here you can see the work for tomorrow here is the today's work report you can see the department first name and the last name along with some other details that means over here in public connect the form response has been successfully captured so the first step of this automation is set up which means now whenever i'm going to receive a new form submission through jot form then automatically the form response details will get captured in public connect so this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so as i've got the form submission details now i want to send the same details on google chat so over here firstly i need to establish a connection between google chat and pably connect so i've already opened my google chat in one of the tabs and i've signed in my account as well so over here i'm just going to click on connect and over here you can see that google chat and pably connect is successfully connected so now moving to the chat webook url so for that i'm going to take you to google chat so over here this is the space which i've created so now i will just go to this drop down i will go to apps and integrations and here in apps and integrations you can see that one webook has been added so i'm going to delete this existing webook and i'm going to show you that how you can add a new webook so here i'm going to click on add webooks and now let's say i'm going to name it as new webook I'm going to click on save and over here the webbook has been created and this here is the URL so I'm just going to copy the link and here in pably connect I'm going to paste it so once I've done that now I need to frame the message which I want to send on Google chat so this here is the message that I've framed it goes as new work report received from so after from I want to mention the name of the employee so over here to do that I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the details from jot form, so from the response received I'm going to map the first name and the last name of the employee. So once I've done that now moving to these details. So here I need to map the department. So again from the response received I'm going to map the department. Moving to the email field so here is the email and I am going to map it. Moving to the brief summary of the work activities done today. So here are the activities moving to the another field that is of brief activities that are planned for tomorrow so over here i have mapped that as well so as you can see that i have mapped the details in these fields so this method of mapping is important so that every time you are going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields if you would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if you would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so as you can see that i have mapped all of these details now i'm going to click on save and send this request here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response that means a message would have been sent on google chat so i'm going to take you to google chat as well so here you can see that this here is the new message that has been sent so over here you can see here is the department email and the brief summary of the today's work report and here are the tomorrow's details and here you can see the name of the employee as well so that means a message has been successfully sent on google chat on a form submission done through jot form so this automation was a successful one that means now whenever an employee is going to submit this employee work report form then automatically a notification will be sent on google chat 
So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pavli Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pavli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pavli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.